Welcome back everyone. Uh, we're starting this uh, middle section of the day with a presentation by Carolyn Seller Rose. And Carolyn didn't always know she wanted to be a librarian, but it was written in the stars. She says as a young girl she didn't play house or teacher, but she played library instead. After trying out different things, nursing, science, linguistics, and after doing various orientation tests in high school, where she was told her best bet was to become a crane operator, <laughs> she finally graduated with a master's degree from the University of Montreal in 2009. She worked as a children's librarian in a public library for, seven, for several years, and she joined the In Libro team and the Koha community in 2017. So at Inlibro, a Koha support company, she is responsible for data migrations, training and support. And in the Koha community, she likes she is part of the documentation team and the French Canadian translation team. In her free time, she likes to cuddle with her cats, knit, read and drink tea. Sounds a lot like me. She says that's not at all stereotypical, by the way. Um, so introducing her talk, it's about cataloguing plugins. Discover the Koha plugin catalog its purpose, its use, and how you can contribute. Hello, everyone. Um, so I'm happy to be here in my home <laughs> to talk to you about uh, the plugin catalog. Um, so um, unlike the, uh, the title of my talk, um, it's not I'm not going to talk about plugins to help you catalog. I'm going to talk about a catalog of Hello, plugins. Um, um, so, so let me just share I'm my slides. My so the plugins catalog, what, what, why, what, where, who, and how. So a little bit about me. Um, I'm a librarian at uh, Inlibro, which is a support company uh, for Koha situated in Montreal, uh, Quebec, Canada. Um, I've been there since uh, September 2017, so I'm very much a toddler in the Koha community, um, but the community as always is very welcoming, so um, I've integrated really well. And before that, I was a children's librarian in a public library for many, many years. All right, so why a plugin catalog? Um, so when we try to do something with Koha, um, we don't know how to do it. Um, and we don't know that there can be a plugin for that. Um, unless someone tells us, or unless we think of Googling for a plugin, um, we will never know that there's a plugin for that. Um, we know we can add plugins to Koha, but other than a Google search, um, un or unless you know exactly what you're looking for, um, it can be hard to find the plugins. Um, there is currently no single way to find the plugins. Um, there are some a little bit everywhere uh, on the wiki, on GitHub, on websites. Um, in Koha 2005, there's a new feature um, that links uh, Bywater, Bywater and, um, sorry for the pronunciation, Tiki, GitHub repositories. <clears throat> That's a very new feature um, where people can um, download directly from the Koha interface from those GitHub repositories. But um, it's only those two organizations that are available right now. Um, and there are many others uh, who make plugins that are not in there yet. So you Google and you end up on GitHub. And this is what GitHub looks, looks like. Um, and if you're not a developer, um, this can be very intimidating. Um, I actually had one of my developer colleagues tell me where to go because from there I didn't know what to do. Um, so I was like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> Where do I click? What do I do? So those are the main whys of the pl plugin catalog. So plugin promotion to let everyone know that there's a plugin for that. Um, 
a plugin findability. So where are they? They're all in the same place. And also the ease of download. So what do I do? I click here. So, so those are the main whys. Um, so during the last CohaCon in Dublin, there was a, a discussion about this. Um, I know we talked about that the ideal solution was to have like a store or something, but that's very far in the future. I don't think it's even in the works yet. And I don't think it's a priority right now for the community to develop uh, that kind of store. So um, we wanted something like in between the what we have right now, which is everything everywhere and a store that would be um, more controlled. Um, so uh, Chris voiced the idea of using a Koha installation to catalog all the plugins uh, that are available, uh, just as if they were library documents, library books. So I volunteered to start this catalog. Um, so it's available at this URL. Um, so it's uh, koharesources.inlibro.net. And this is what it looks like. So I just took some screenshots or you can see what it looks like. Um, so you can see it's a very plain OPAC. Um, it's um, based on 1905, I think. Um, I, we haven't updated it yet. I didn't do any personalizations. It's just a plain Koha. Um, I did try to add some discoverability uh, elements, like um, uh, in the middle here, you see um, like OPAC plugins or cataloging plugins. So that way um, people can discover new plugins. And this is what a record looks like. Um, so it's the same as a regular library record. Um, there, um, so you, I put in like the programmers um, and the contributors um, and uh, the description. This is this is all taken from the the actual plugin code. So there's a description uh, in the code. And this is what uh, this was. This is what it says. Um, there is a download link. It's not very visible, but it's uh, here. I, can I draw? No way. Anyway, it's it's here um, under online resources. Um, it's not very visible, but it's just like a regular uh, library record. So the the online resource would be here. Um, and this goes directly to the downloadable um, space of GitHub or uh, whatever. So this is on a website, so it goes directly to the, the page on the website where you can download um, the plugin. So you don't have to look everywhere uh, to find the download link. So, so far I've cataloged i uh, cataloged around 50 plugins, um, mostly by authors and ours uh, in Libros. Um, there are still plenty that need to be cataloged. Um, I received some lists um, last year that uh, of plugins that need to be cataloged, so there's still a lot of work to do. Um, but before going further, I wanted um, the community's feedback on this. Is this something that we want? Is this something that we should continue? Uh, is this useful for the community or not? Um, and, well, I'm just going to change my slide. So please join me <laughs> if you can help. Um, so if we do want to continue uh, with this catalog, um, I would need help to finish cataloging all the plugins and also finding all the plugins because I'm just like everybody, I don't know exactly where they all are hidden. So, um, and trust me, I'm not evil like Darth Vader, so you can join me <laughs> anytime in this project. 
Um, so how to help? Um, well, like I said, this is a Koha uh, installation, so you would know how to use it. Um, it. You just ask me for a login. I have my um, my uh, contact information in the, uh, the, the last slide, so you just can ask me for a login and I'll create a user account for you with um, super librarian privileges. And um, I also uh, wrote some cataloging guidelines, um, but I'm by no means a cataloger. So um, if someone wants to look at that and um, see if those guidelines are okay, um, that would be good too. Um, also, if you're not comfortable um, asking me for a, plug, uh, a, a login and cataloging directly in that plugin catalog, you can also catalog on your own, either Koha or um, like market it or whatever, and um, send me the mark file, and I'll just import it in the um, in the plugin catalog. And also, any feedback and comments um, are appreciated. Um, like I said, this is something I started on on the side after a discussion at Kohakon, but um, it's it hasn't been promoted or anything yet. So um, any feedback would be really appreciated. So I talked really fast. I'm sorry, but I'm already done. <laughs> Um, I'm free to, to answer questions on IRC. Um, this is my information. Uh, if you want to see cat pictures, I'm on Instagram. Um, so that's it.